December 22nd is the day we learned how to land and the day we realized how far away we really were. Let's start in 2015. While it was late on the 21st in Florida, in UTC time, it was December 22nd when the world woke up to a new reality. SpaceX had successfully landed an orbital class rocket booster for the first time. The Falcon 9 didn't just launch satellites, it came back. This was the moment the age of reusability officially began. But 57 years ago, the mood was different. On December 22nd, 1968, the crew of Apollo 8 was deep in the void, halfway to the moon. They turned on their TV camera for a live broadcast. Commander Frank Borman looked back at the receding Earth and described space not as an adventure, but as a vast, lonely, forbidding existence. It was the moment humanity truly felt the scale of the cosmos. And back in 1966, NASA flew the bathtub. Exactly 59 years ago today, the HL-10 lifting body made its first successful flight. This weird wingless glider proved that a spacecraft could return from orbit and land on a runway like a plane. Without this test on December 22nd, the space shuttle never would have existed. So from wingless gliders to vertical landings, today is the day.